the factories of Kuat have been bombed into submission, and the shipyards of Zarfel, Anadin, and Turco Prime are all either contested or already lost. But the outer rim will be our savior, and it will be the strangling cord we tie around the neck of the new republic. We already have three worlds under our sway there. Jardeline, Chorus, and Belladoon. Gallius Rax, to the Shadow Council following the Battle of Endor, the Galactic Empire steadily began to shrink, losing numerous worlds to the recently formed New Republic, with Imperial assets and academies on worlds such as Utah destroyed in bloody warfare. With the loss and failure of three successive sieges to retake the mid-rim world of Naboo, birthplace of Palpatine and thus an influential rallying point for the Empire's shattered forces, the Empire retreated to numerous fallback positions on strategically unimportant worlds such as Nalal, often drawing the New Republic into long and indecisive conflicts, forestalling its slow push toward the core worlds. Despite these efforts, the Republic had already established its capital on Chandrila, a planet located within the core. A few months after Endor, the Imperial Future Council met on Akiva, a planet in a sector of the Outer Rim still under Imperial control. Roughly two months after the battle on Akiva, the Galactic Empire's territorial possessions were rapidly shrinking and described as a patchwork quilt by Grand Admiral Ray Sloan. Numerous systems left the Empire or waged their own resistance movements, declared their independence, and established their own fiefdoms or joined the New Republic. Criminal syndicates flourished in this atmosphere of conflict, especially the reptilian pirate Elia de Maracavania who had captured the Super Star Destroyer Annihilator and used it to forge her own criminal empire. Various moths and governors rebelled against the empire, while more and more people asked what exactly the empire was. Agencies, personnel, and whole planetary systems started to drift apart, each adopting differing tactics and methods for combating the New Republic, and each other. By this time, the Empire had already lost numerous systems to the New Republic's lighting fast strikes, and factionalism had begun to scar any attempts to reclaim lost territories. The New Republic had already made headway into the Core Worlds. The last sector of the Outer Rim under Imperial control was a thin region of space known as the Exterior, along with the planets Jardeline, Chorus, and Belladoon. With the shipyards of Kuat, Zarfel, Anadine, and Turco Prime having already been lost or contested, Rax planned to use the Empire's last foothold in the Outer Rim as a strangling cord to tie around the New Republic. While the Chandrila terror attack demoralized the New Republic, it failed to turn the tide of the war against the Empire, which soon after lost Kashyyyk following an uprising led by Han Solo and Chewbacca. After their defeat at Jakku and the signing of the Galactic Concordance, some Imperial warships began jumping into the unknown regions to escape the prying eyes of the New Republic. This was made easier since parts of the unknown regions had previously been explored by military scout ships surveying star systems and blazing hyperspace routes known only to a select few. 